Hello, you guys. This is my plate on Father Day, Sunday. Okay, and if you want to see how I prepare this meal, just keep watching this video and you will see how I prepare my dinner. Okay, um, like this video, give this video a thumbs up, share, share, share with your friends and family uh, to show them what's cooking on my cooking channel. And if this is your first time watching my cooking channel, share, share, share with your friends and family as well. Like, comment below if you have any questions. Thumb this video up. Like it as well. I really, really appreciate it. And if you guys already subscribed to my cooking channel, thank you guys so much. Again, I really, really appreciate it. And if you guys want to see the next upload video that I post on my cooking channel, just make sure you guys keep your notification bell on. And you will see the next upload video that I post on my cooking channel. By then, be safe. You guys have a place to be safe. Until then, I will see you guys in the next upload video. And again, like I said, if you want to see how I prepare my dinner, just keep watching this video. And some of the gift that... Uh, we brought, you know, uh, my husband a little gift and stuff, you know. But the main thing is, um, just thankful that he could see another year of Father's Day with his children. All right, you guys. So I'm Mr. Dig in, and. Again, happy Father's Day to all the father around the world. Whatever your title is, single father, um, taking care of other kids, you know, stepfather, or whatever the case is. And the people who don't have their father, their father passed away. Uh, rest in peace. And rest in peace in heaven. I know I lost my father. You probably gonna hear this a couple of times in my video, but yeah, I lost my father in 1983. But anyway, I am Mr. D again because I am very, very hungry. Let me check this out. Okay, and this is what I'm drinking on, you guys. Sorry about that. <laughs> But anyway, I miss it again, you guys. Let's see, taste this mashed potato. Good. Put some of that gravy on it. And you guys could taste the mac and cheese, all creamy with cheese. Wow. Good, good dinner. And this roast is so, so tender, you guys. Wow. Yep, and you want to see how I cook this roast? Just keep watching this video. Mm. I know you guys, you probably said she got two different potatoes on her plate, but if you you'll see why I got this right here. Got this roast, and you know how this came together. So, yeah. So, <laughs> yep, yep, yep. And I had brought this first. No, I'm sorry. I had brought this first before I brought these. So anyway, whatever. <laughs> All right. So let me go ahead and uh, let me see how this. Uh, and I did put some gravy on, don't look like it, but yes. There you go. Mm -hmm. All right, okay. So, got my full of food. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'll see you guys in the next upload video. Bye bye. And keep watching this video. You want to see how I pair my dinner. All right, to the end. All right, bye-bye.
unconditional. That's how love goes. It's good for the soul. No, I got a long way to go, but it won't stop the pain. No, no. That's the kind of thing that keeps me coming. Okay, welcome back to my kitchen, you guys. Um, happy Father's Day to all the father out there around the world. And this is uh, what I'm cooking on Father's Day on Sunday. And I just picked up something easy, you know. Well, it's not easy, but it's already prepared. You know, all the ingredients at the name of this is called the um, pork roast uh, uh, with vegetable. And this has got all the stuff for, you know, the roast and stuff. So, yeah, you still have to keep cook that and stuff. But they just kind of put all the stuff that when you cook um, pot roast. And this is the season I'm using. Not this. Sorry about that, you guys. Uh, da, 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 da. This one. So... I use a tablespoon for each season that's going to season my roast. I use this right here. I love that because it's got all the ingredients to it. Garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, and salt. And what I'm going to, and I already mix it already in my bowl. Okay? So, what I'm going to do with the meat, once I take it out of the package, I'm going to kind of pound it. And then I'm going to put all the seeds around it. And then I'm going to just saute on both sides and stuff for it to be a quick cook. And then after I saute everything, then I'm going to put in my crock pot, okay? So, yeah, that's the season that I'm using. Okay, another thing. Um, and then the side dish, so again, like I said, I'm going to put it in my crock pot after I saute the meat, you know, seal the se uh, the season in with the meat and stuff, so that way you can finish cooking in the crock pot. Easy, easy, simple. You don't have to be in the kitchen all day long if you know some good cooking tips and stuff to make it easy for you, okay? Alrighty. Again. <clears throat> He is gone. So this is the setup. This is from his oldest daughter. He hasn't opened it yet because he went to the store. Okay. She's very creative, you guys. Okay, I'm going to like this bag that she... <laughs> Uh, cute bitch. She always come up with some cute, cute little bag. <laughs> yes, handy man. Okay, and she always, yeah, it's very creative with this kind of stuff, you guys. So that's some kind of basket, some kind of thing that she put together. 
Oh my god, it's so cute. That's what I say. Happy best day ever. So I would probably just take the picture when he opened it. And again, like I said, um, this is from me. You guys will probably see that once he opened. So I just want to show you guys this, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and finish my dinner. Kind of saute my meat. I just want to show you guys how we had it set up, okay? <clears throat> so what I'm turning around, this is the meat tenderizer. Because I, did, I forgot to season this last night. That's why I'm going to kind of saute it a little bit on the stove. Just go like that. Caught that just, uh, t and I didn't know they had this in the package of it. Some kind of pre-season. Might not use up all this right here. So I just want to come back to show you guys that, okay? So I just got to... Might not even use that, but this is a lot, so I'll just go ahead and just kind of spread it around like that. And then flip it over. And then just do this other side. Yeah, this might, I might not even use that, because I don't want it, you know, to have. Too much seasoning, you guys. So I'm just gonna put this in a Ziploc bag and save it for another meat, you know. But if you buy this, you know, it got a uh, different season to it, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna saute this some extra olive oil. Okay, I'm a little sticky, but I'll flip it. So then after that, I do the side and I put it in my crop pot. Okay? So that's how I'm cooking this roast. took it out put it on my plate so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna blast these uh, vegetable into the same uh, I can get that that's good right here you got you know that's that seeds all that season okay okay so I kind of ranch it now I'm gonna cut up that onion okay but I'm gonna leave with the potatoes as the same way Okay, so I cut up the onion. Okay. So what I did, I got my spatula. I just see how this gets all that on. Do I see just coating it. That's all I'm doing. Okay. I'm not really just cooking it. I'm just throwing in my crock pot, you guys. Okay? And then I'm throwing some things back to my onion. Okay. Then you guys, I'm just going to add all the cheese with the best stuff. Okay? But you know, best of the need to be seasoned. So this and I made it just gonna just throw it all in okay. so I'm it. I don't have my sands I got the towel before I made it okay I just added some water 
you know, just to kind of coat, I'm sorry, I'm everywhere with this camera, just to coat the vessel, okay? And then now, I'm going to just take it on and put in my crock pot to show you guys what I did with the Vesta. Hold it. Alrighty. Okay, so I put my meat in my crock pot like that. Okay, so I put potato around the rows. And then you guys, some of the sauce, I just kind of spread around a potato, okay? This is what I'm doing. Kind of spread it around. Okay, so now I put the carrot around it. Oh, this part could be really, really good. Okay, you guys, so I added my onion back, and this is my roast with this around in it on Father Day. This is my dinner on Father Day. Ooh. Alrighty. So, I don't have to worry about it. Keep watching it and stuff. Because I could have did it in my air fryer, but I didn't want to. I just want to just relax. Alrighty. I'll see you guys when we make our plate. And then my side dish is... Uh, mac and cheese and mashed potato. All right. See you guys when we eat our dinner. And again, happy Father's Day to every father out there, single father or stepfather or whatever your talent is. I wish you guys around the world happy Father's Day as well. And the people who lost their father. You know, happy Father, happy he Heavenly Father Day as well. Because my, I lost my father as well in 1983. So, yeah. So, happy Heavenly Father Day. Okay. Little girls, little girls, but you know, it's enough. Okay, this is how I look, and I'm going to make my plate, you guys. Okay, I have to make my, my cake. 
kids, they play cause if you would have saw that little roast that I have, and I know keep my children, I know how they could just get all the meat. <laughs> yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do. You know, they look, they get in the plate. <laughs> yeah, and that's my grandbaby plate. Yep, 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 yep. They lucky they get in the plate. Oh, they got a whole can of popcorn, peanut, cheese. I guess this is what's down here. Something like that. It's the mud. Yeah, I got the mud. Yeah, I got the mud. Got some little candy down there. Just trying to see. Really, Tanya? <laughs> 